Uh, this, is, <coughs> this is Outlook with Google Apps. Um, you can see I have folders. I can take messages and I can move them to folders. And they, they work, they show up there all nicely. Um, I've got meetings that I can accept and decline. And it works just the same. When I send email, uh, I can send an email to, let's see, I'll send an email to Brian. And I can look him up in the global address book, and he resolves. I just press Control K. Or I can look somebody up, and I can find, I don't know, let's find Jill. And there's, uh, let's see, there's John G. Yeah, we found him. We'll add him here, or I can add Gretel. Um, and this is a test. And then I can do things like, even uh, I can actually flag as important if I'm interoperating between uh, a Google Apps Sync user and another Google Apps Sync user. And I can just go ahead and send this mail. You'll see it does the same sort of send and receive behavior. That's all exactly the same. So now the email is in Google Apps. It's available for you through Gmail. It's available to you through iPhone or through Blackberry, the whole deal. Um, let me show you just contacts really quickly. Um, I talked a little bit about these fields. I can create a new contact. I'll go ahead and create my own contact. I work at Google, and I'm a senior product manager. So those of you that were asking before how to spell my name, there it is. Um, and uh, if, in case you can't see me, uh, there's my picture. Um, so we support pictures. Um, we support what do we want to do? Telex, we'll add Telex. You know, one, two, three, yeah, one, two, three, that. One, two, three, four, and all these other things, these other details, you know, office, organization, manager's name. I work for a guy named Raju. Um, so these are all supported natively. Your data syncs, it's safe, it's stored in Google, you know, it's, it's distributed around the world. Then calendar, um, you can see that we have meetings that have occurrences and recurrent exceptions. If I want to go and schedule a meeting, let's do lunch. Uh, so I create this meeting, I can go to my scheduling tab, and I can just go here and I'll add Gretel. Uh, I think we misspelled Gretel. I'll tell you what, I'm going to do an add others, show you how this works. And I'll search for Gretel. Add Gretel here. And then I'm going to go and I will find, uh, I'll take this portable projector to this resource. And I'll go ahead and add, I'll add it as a resource. Resources show up the way that you expect. And then what it'll do is we'll actually go out and we'll look up free visiting information. And I can see, great, Gretel is free for lunch. That's perfect. I can go ahead and I can you know, make this happen every day um, so that now I have lunch with Gretel and a portable projector in case we need to you know, work through the demo. Um, and <laughs> yeah, it probably is talking, but you know, Gretel and I get along really well. Um, and uh, and so you know, Gretel gets her uh, invitation and so forth. Um, that all works. And so I'll just hop over to Google Apps and show you here. Oh, look, there's you know the the lunch invitations. Um, and I'll refresh this, uh, and we'll see. There's the lunch with Gretel. It came over. Um, we can add exceptions and so forth. And I can just edit this information on Google Apps. Um, and it'll sync right back down to my desktop um, on Outlook. Works offline. Um, it's uh, it's very fast. Um, and so what you're finding, what you're seeing here, is that you get the same experience as Outlook uh, on Exchange, or very similar. Um, we've got a utility to migrate your data. Two clicks, we get your data out of Exchange. We get it into Google Apps. You just select, oh, I want my calendars, my contacts, my email messages. Attach it to your Exchange profile. Goes to Google. Um, you can use Gmail and Outlook simultaneously. Use your iPhone. Use Outlook. It's all going to be happy, um, and it's included today uh, in Google Apps Premier, ED, Premier and Edu editions. We're releasing it this afternoon. We've made it pretty easy to exchange your Exchange server for Google. 